Pro Tools 7.3 is an incredible update for your HD, your LE, or your M-powered system. There's a ton of new stuff, so I want to begin by showing you some of the features that I know you're going to like. We've added two new track heights to the edit window, fit to window, I love that, and micro, which is great for when you need to get an overview of what's going on in your song. 7.3 now has continuously variable track height. Now, if I hold down Command or Alt on the PC, it's continuous, and if not, it will snap to the preset track sizes. The toggle edit zoom function right here gets a new set of preferences. Independent settings for both vertical MIDI zoom and horizontal zoom, plus an option for removing the selection once you're zoomed in. Track heights can be changed, and the view, I'll change that to waveform or note, and you can even have two separate grid settings. So now, I just select a MIDI region, hit the letter E, and it will fit to window with the selection removed. And the same behavior for audio too. And of course, the separate grid values. I can have an eighth note selected here, and then toggle edit in and select a quarter note grid, and then toggle between the two grid settings. Now just those new features alone make this an incredible update, but 7.3 offers much more like right-click enhancements with the mouse. Check these out. You can right-click directly on a track to access commands that include hide and make inactive. Here's where my edit insertion point is. And with a region, you can right-click while holding down Command or Alt on the PC to access even more functions like move the start or end point of the region to the selection start. And if you just right-click normally, you can snap a region to the next or the previous region. Very powerful. In the mix window, you can right-click directly on an insert or ascend to bypass, mute, make active or inactive. And of course, you can rename your I.O. just like I'm doing here with my outputs. This right-click functionality also works with solo and mute when you're working with group tracks. Here, a left-click solos all of the tracks within the group, but a right-click solos each track individually. The same for mute. Left-click mutes all, and right-click mutes individually. You can also right-click directly in the group list to see which tracks are part of which group. And while we're talking about groups, we've now increased the amount available to you per session. You now have four banks for a total of 104 groups. And 7.3 allows you to link the send mute and the send level. Very powerful. 7.3 also supports the sending of instruments and MIDI tracks directly to Sibelius. And Sibelius 4 is a complete software solution for all of your notation needs, including printing and scoring. If I want to send all of my MIDI tracks over to Sibelius, I could simply choose Send to Sibelius directly from the File menu. Or if I want to send just one track, maybe for a lead sheet, I can right-click on the track itself and choose the option. Sibelius will launch, and once it's opened, you can use the keypad, the navigator, the transport, and all of the tools available to you in Sibelius to get your score looking the way you want it and you'll notice that the markers have come through from the Pro Tools session. Very nice. For more 7.3 features, join me in part two.